welcome to the second part of this tutorial on how to how to model a Formula One car in Blender. Uh, this is part two, so if you haven't seen part one, I would su suggest uh, going to watch or watching that first. In this video, I will cover the rear wing. Uh, the wheels and the support for the wheels. So let's get into it. The first thing that I do is to make a cylinder and then I resize it to match with the wheels. I scale it in the different axis or in yeah, the axis and fit it uh, after what it looks like on the drawing uh, or picture uh, then I begin with the support w uh, beams for the wheels uh, so this is basically and just trial and error um, taking a cylinder uh, and then scaling it thinner and rotating it a bit and just to make it look good so yeah so I'm basically just going to repeat that exact process for the support beams. I also have some reference images from Google uh, which I use while doing this because it some it's sometimes a bit hard to scale it uh, properly and get the angle right compared to the other supports and yeah. So while I do this, I'm basically I'm going to talk a bit of like the uh, race that just happened. This audio was recorded two days after the finale in the Formula One 2021 20, season. Uh, I'm pretty happy as a Ferrari fan and a Max fan. Uh, so Ferrari or Sainz getting P3 and Max getting I am not really sure how I feel about that victory it is like a bit controversial uh, but and like the fact that we aren't if like uh, Merced say this uh, or appeal I think uh, we may not f figure out who is the championship winner uh, before January or maybe even February so that is like a bit down on the downside but like I really want to hear your thoughts on like the things that happened like the uh, first lap incident between Max and Lewis and uh, also what they think about how Michael Massey handled the situation with like letting the uh, people on the or, or letting the people that was one lap behind uh, going past but not everyone like you should have but yeah, I really want to hear what your thoughts are. Yeah. Uh, back to what I'm doing. Um, and now I am basically rounding up the edges of the wheel uh, just to not make, make 
make them as boxy as they were on the start just to because I felt like that w looked more right compared to like the actual wheels they are not they don't have 90 degrees angles on the ends so I scaled it a bit down and uh, moved it a bit in the lines so now onto the front part I didn't or when I made this I saw that I didn't actually finish it on the last episode or video but it was like really easy to fix or to model right just to give it a little more curves basically uh, now I'm just making like a small wing on the side of the front wing uh, I just saw that there was one of those on the picture so I I didn't make it complicated at all I just extruded a small part and now on to the back wheels now I'm basically just doing the same process as earlier with the front wheels but now I am also going to make like the axle uh, go through the middle so what I do is that I select uh, one side of the wheel and then I uh, what is it called uh, yeah, I um, make I use this tool to uh, make it perfectly in the center of the wheel and now just some small work on the diffuser to make it so it not don't hit the axle and now I'm going to repeat the process with uh, the support beams and like the suspension systems and those things with scaling down the cylinders and uh, if you do this I really suggest uh, having a reference image or maybe even looking at other models on Sketchfab or other things just to see uh, like different angles because having this uh, or this picture uh, made it made some things quite hard when it came down to like finding the like the front view and some of the angles so didn't end up perfect but I am like reasonably happy about how this back section turned out So just uh, putting in the last few support beams and then I believe 
I'm going to move over to the rear wing. This audio was recorded after I made the uh, made the car or modeled the car, so I don't remember exactly what I did, but yeah, yeah. So now I'm making like the rear lights, and then I'm making the exhaust. I think so. I'm using the cut tool, I believe it's called. Or knife, yeah. So I'm basically cutting a half circle as round as I could and extruding that. After this, I will probably make one last part of this series where I, or I'm going to make at least one more part where I like show a very very basic way to color uh, the car. Yeah, here the, you can see one of the models I used to look. So now I am uh, simply just trimming down the, or yeah, I believe it's called trimming now. Uh, editing the back to try to don't have that 90 degree angle uh, straight downwards uh, at the back there So now I'm just uh, extruding the diffuser a small amount, like that, and changing some angles on the lights there. last of the support beams
So now I'm going to start on the rear wing. This is probably what I think is like, or what I thought was like one of the hardest parts about modeling this car. Because of the, uh, or at least the way I did it, it became a bit hard when I was going to change direction to vertical and like that as you will see in a moment like the sides of the rear wing. but like is very close to it like move around it and then I'm going to begin on the wall with the, the wall of the rear wing so most of this or uh, if you like try to model a car uh, this way uh, it's it's not like the hardest part or the hardest way to model a car but uh, it isn't like perfect either there are probably a lot better ways to do this but I when I made this I had maybe like a month of experience in modeling in Blender at max uh, but I believe that it turned out pretty good so now I'm just trimming like the angles and the bends of the rear wing to begin on like the wing itself um, if you have gotten this far in the video I would really appreciate if it if you uh, would consider subscribing uh, uh, hit the or turning on uh, notifications and liking the video it would really help me out a lot so what I do now is that I like put the points uh, to be exactly on zero in the y axis and then I like make it a bit more straight and then I'm uh, starting on like the dimensions of the bends. Right here I didn't have uh, the only reference images I had here while I did this was like a few pictures from like the reveal at Silverstone of the car and also uh, a few models that I had to like uh, work a bit out of like what I thought looked the best
So now I'm simply just editing some finer details on the car. And when like the reveals come from like the uh, manufacturers uh, from the Formula One teams, I might try to like. Uh, change this up a bit to like match one of the teams or maybe even mul multiple so if you want to see a video like that uh, please let me know in the comments I'm just making that small uh, fin on the back side there. Not really complicated. I extrude a small part and like set the points to be at the y axis or zero at the y axis and then I extrude it to the sides. And then I just changed up a small part that I wasn't happy with. And here's the final result for this video. Uh, so if you got this far, uh, uh, please consider subscribing and uh, check. please check out my, some of my other videos as well. Uh, bye!